Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betagba, and these is prayers and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, this particular prophetic word says, don't be deceived. This particular person in your life adores you. Do not be deceived. This particular person in your life adores you. You know, so many times we have our way that we want to see love being processed. We have our way that we want to see people behave. We have our way that we want to see people act. We have that way that you you have a particular way. You have like, there is just something that you want to see. Like, you know, somebody telling you, I love you. Somebody telling you, I want to be with you. Somebody confessing, professing their love to you. But sometimes you... You have a way that you want to see it, you know, and that is human being, and that is you, that is me. We have our natures. We have, there is something that you feel like, if you truly love me, you're going to do this for me. If you truly love me, you will not want to do this, you know, and all that. But I want to tell you that not everybody is the same in showing out how much they care for you. Not everybody's the same in showing out how much they love you. Now, I want to take an example about myself, about like generally loving people generally. Naturally, I'm an introvert. I I rarely do open up to people like, you know, and I used to not open up to people. And then I came to Dubai and something dangerous happened to me only because I decided to open up to two people. And these two people, this was, they were partners, okay? A boy and, and his girlfriend, a girl and her boyfriend. They took advantage of me. They took advantage of me, stole from me and all that, you know? And I've not seen them ever since. But after that, I told myself, it was great not opening up to people. Because I personally think that if I had to maintain the natural me that was so quiet and not opening up to people, it would have been better. But I decided to be like, oh, let me just try to change. Let me try to change this and all that. But I noticed one thing. I noticed that when I, when these people stole from me normally and we separated, I haven't seen them, they haven't. Um, giving me what they stole from me, not even a dime of what they stole from me. But you know, judgment is never far. The Bible says, whatsoever a man saw it, he will repeat. That is it. And this is a very painful story that I hate to remember and I hate to talk about it. I did not even know I was going to talk about it in this particular prophetic word. I did not know. I was just led by the Spirit of God to talk about it. And if the Spirit of God is leading me to talk about this, then who am I? You know, sometimes the things that we don't want to do, sometimes the Spirit of God is going to tell you, this is what you should do. I say this and I feel so emotional because God is still healing me of this path. God is still healing me of this particular story. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then I decided to become the person that I used to be. How? I decided to be close again. And I don't think that I can ever be that open again. Why? That was my nature to be a close person. And then afterwards, I decided to be an open person. When I decided to be an open person, I was taken advantage of. I was betrayed. I was disappointed. You know, they were planning against me. I was smiling with them eating with them, sleeping with them, even on the same bed, knowing that these are families, but they were stealing and taking advantage of me. It's a long story. But I know someday I'm going to be completely healed and delivered of this. And I know that justice will be saved by the special grace of God. In Jesus' name, amen. So I decided to go back to that close me. Now, when somebody comes, I'm that close and I'm an introvert. Now, but I love people. I love a lot of people who come close to me, but I cannot be that open again, not because of what they did to me, but because that was my nature. Then I decided to say, let me come out of my nature and something happens, which means that is how I'm supposed to be. There are people you can never change them. 
there are people don't dare try to change them if you change them they might be harmed if you change them they might become different people let people change because they want to change let people change because they are convicted you know i did not change because i was convicted i changed towards these people because i felt like if these people are showing me kindness why shouldn't i show them kindness so that is why i changed you understand but if i was convicted because god spoke to me about these people several times he spoke against them god kept speaking against these people but i will not listen out of not being convicted i change you should change when you're convicted let people change when they are convicted they will become better people when you let people change when they are not convicted you will cry because they will become something else this person adores you loves you so much but the person is not showing you in the way that you want them to show you maybe you want them to do this particular action you want them to behave like this keep praying for them when their hearts are convicted they will do more than you're wanting them to do you must learn one thing learn the languages of people do not always want people to go your way do not always want people to think your way do not always want people to look at you your way learn learn the languages of people learn also what they want or oh, this is how i am but i'm expecting that this person behaves towards me in a different way i'm expecting that at least you can even be doing this for me you're not doing this if you do this for me i'm going to know that you love me if you do this for me i'm going to know that you adore me not everybody has such secondly i want to tell you the fact that not everybody has such languages we are looking for does not mean she should compromise there is a difference between privacy and secrecy there are people who say our relationship is private, which means it's not everything that we are going to do out there. There are people who say this relationship is secrecy. No, never be in a relationship that is living in secrets. Never be in a relationship that is living in secrets. You will regret it. There are people who are keeping you in secrets. Sometimes they have other people out there. They might not be cheating on you, but they have hopes on other people. There's, there is something that is fishy never be in a relationship that is living in secrecy you will regret it at the end i make a prayer for everybody that is here right now as this word touches your heart let there be a confirmation let there be a conviction let it resonate with your spirit find where you belong do you belong to a private or a sacred relationship find where you belong make that decision today is it that you're moving forward or you're moving backward Staying in a sacred relationship means you're moving backward. Staying in a good relationship means you're moving forward. May God honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray for me. Please share this particular um, video. I beg you in Jesus' name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. I love you, I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.